What's up, all you Flames fan piece of garbage? Hello, my ferocious friends. Welcome back. This is another edition of Steve's Dang It's. I wonder what the first one's gonna be. Hmm. Oh, oh, you know, just let me, just let me. I just wanted to savor the moment. It's so good. Here's everyone's favorite person with the worst shootout attempt in NHL history. Brad Marchand must score. He missed Ball the puck. start or he nudged the puck forward. Yeah, it looked like he got a piece of it. It off. It looked like he got a piece of it. Marchand trying to sell it like no. Flyers are saying, hey, he made a play on that puck. Yep. This is over. Yep. It's like a double stroke in golf. Tom Shimolowski signals no goal. Oh, dang, Leaf fan. What about that time Tavares screwed it up? At least Tavares handled the puck for a second. At least Dennis Wideman was in scoring position before he completely... Okay, that was more embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. But Brad Marchand just... He didn't even touch it. Yes, he'd shut up and watch. And one more look at him, Marchand. Just barely touches that puck with the heel of his stick. Looked like he didn't get his stick down in time. Right there, just grazes it, but makes some contact with the puck to move it off the dot. Ah, Brad Marchand, who was having a normal one the next day, makes the biggest gaffe in shootout history. Can we show his tweets? Can we show how he wasn't mad at all? Here's him hoisting the Stanley Cup with a wink emoji chirp. Now, Brad needs some new material. The wink emoji in his Twitter is his go-to, and I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty good one. But the cup thing, the cup, I seem to remember him using the same chirp on the Vancouver Canucks when the Canucks beat them during the regular season, and that was in 2012. Bradley, come on now. Then someone was giving him a little bit of the chirps afterward, and Brad had this to say. What he said, what, no, Drew, Drew, take it off. The, Drew, that is not the tweet. Do not leave this photo on the screen for another five seconds just so that we can all enjoy it and breathe it in. And Drusif, how dare you? Drew, who is real, that is enough. Sorry, folks. Here's the tweet from Brad Marchand. <laughs> your shootout is in your driveway, not the NHL peasant. You pretend to be me in your backyard, dream big bud. Drew just asked me why I didn't read that like a normal person. I literally read how it was written. He won a cup, not a grammar contest. And if I had a Stanley Cup ring, I can't say I'd pay too much attention to grammar either. He's probably the best troll in the NHL. He's having another unbelievable season, any place for the Boston Bruins. So whenever he screws up, we gotta make a spectacle of it. That's why we're gonna show it to you one more time, because it's a great dang it. He didn't get his stick down in time. Right there, just grazes it, but makes some contact with the puck to move it off the dot. Our next dang it, it's not quite as funny, is it? This is the most delicate way I can put it. Here's Jonathan Quick taking a one-timer to the neck. Here's the one-timer. The puck is flat. And it just sailed right on him. Quick's coming across. Yeah, that got him in the neck. Oh, that is, that is such dangerous stuff. I don't think it was deflected there. <gasps> this is why I say dang it's are not just misplays. It's something that makes you say dang it. In fact, that is what I said the first time I watched that. Or something that they frown upon on this YouTube channel. It's YouTube. Let, just let me say it. Whatever, Dad. I can wear what I want. <laughs> this wasn't just any slap shot. This was a Steven Stamkos bomb from the Steven Stamkos spot. And what's funny is you lose your head a little bit when you're playing sports because Jonathan Quick is down. You don't know what condition he's in. He's potentially grasping for air. The lightning shoot again anyway. So they might've had a gripe that, hey, hey, you didn't blow the play dead. I was about to score, except no, Sean Walker with an excellent block. Back up top, it's Hedman. Stamkos driving it, saved by Quick, and he's shaken up. The whistle blows. Now this should end with me going, and Jonathan Quick was stretchered off and taken to the hospital because, oh my God, he took a Steven Stamkos one-timer to the neck. No, he stayed in the game, and he got the Kings to earn a point against the Lightning, which over their 10-game winning streak was pretty difficult to do. The Lightning would end up winning in the shootout, but Jonathan Quick was a key part in forcing that thing to the shootout. Oh my goodness. That's a dang it though. It's a dang it that's a hat pick. Does that make sense? If you watch these, it does. If you don't, why are you here? Our next dang it is actually four. Yes, this is a new record and it is exactly who you thought it would be. The New Jersey... 
The Red Wings? Drew, I specifically said there has to be a devil's thing in every single dang it. No, Drew, Drew, I'm trying, Drew said, I gotta keep calling you that out. Wait, we'll do this later. I keep forgetting it's not soundproof. Well, according to Drew, apparently the Detroit Red Wings, you're an avalanche fan, see, I knew it. According to Drew, the Red Wings had four dang it's in a single game. I'll believe it when I see it. Here's the first one. That's his prime job. Just get it through, get it past that onrushing checker. Here's Matt Barzell down the lane. Everly on the backhand scores! Jordan Everly, and it's 1 0 Islanders. There's the little bit of a turnover. Good play, and as Anders Lee gets it right away over to, to Barzell, and Barzell to Jordan Everly, and he finishes it off. Good transition for the Islanders. Nice soft hands by Barzell. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 no, that's pretty worthy. All five Red Wings are on Matt Barzell, which, you know, good idea. He's a pretty good player. Other good player, Jordan Eberle, right there. Okay, that was a good one. You're one for four, Drew. What's the second one? Show me. He needs to slide, no icing here. Red Wings were in a change defensively. Howard gave it off, and going down was Green, and Nelson has scored! Three goals in the first eight minutes for the Islanders. Brock Nelson coming in, so you take a look. Green looks over, but it's Bovillia that gets in on him. Takes a little look, spots Nelson in the quick wrist shot on the short side. Oh my God, Mike Green completely, oh. <laughs> Here's how much Mike Green does not like Mike Babcock. He could have been traded to the Leafs and instead opted to be doing this. Hey Mike, you want to go try to win a cup with Babcock? First of all, it's a Leafs, so I don't think that'll happen. Second of all, no. No? No. I'd rather end up on this stupid YouTube show falling down on the last place team. You'd rather do that than play with the coach that picked you for the 2010 Olympic team? He didn't pick me for the 2010 Olympic team. I get it. What do you mean it was long for no reason? Fine, where's the third one? Face off one out to Ryan Pollock. Couldn't quit a shooting lane, so he went to Dobson. Floating, he scores! Was it tipped or is it the first NHL goal for Noah Dobson? Hey, Noah Dobson with his first career NHL goal. Drew, this is wrong. This should be in hat picks. Show it again. I'm trying to see what you're seeing. Islanders are on a on a tear right now. They're they're having a game where everything they're shooting is going towards the net. That goes off the Red Wing. Right off the glove yeah. of Alex Piega. Oh. Noah Dobson, oh, this should be such an amazing moment. This should be a go get the puck moment. His parents crying in the stands. Not mass confusion. That puck is going wide and Biega goes, Ugh! whacks it into his own net past Calvin Pickard. Oh my goodness, that's a dang it. Congrats, Noah. All right, Drew, for crying out loud, what's the fourth one? Aside from the offensive display, Brendan, uh, uh, his game has been so good. Look out. Oh, a freebie for Kovarov. And it's the eighth tonight. Simple play, just zip it all, all the way around. And there, there's a, where the Zamboni comes out, it'll, it gives you crazy hops and, <laughs> And the picker's like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, are you gonna make me admit that all four were right? Oh, I just said it. Wow, the Red Wings had a normal one in this one, uh, just completely abandoning their post. And Leo Komarov has a wide open net. This guy was an all-star, by the way. Do you remember that? I do. It was a tough season. That was his first goal of the 2019-20 campaign. His production is down, but his paycheck is not. Good for you, Leo, get yours. And that recaps, oh my goodness, that could have been its own video, Drusif. Uh, that is the Red Wings having four dang it's in the same game. Did you see the score? Wasn't good. That's a dang it. Our last one is gonna require a costume change. What's up, all you Flames fan piece of garbage? Oilers fan Steve here to talk about Zach Cassian laying a beat down on Matthew Kachuk. Left bomb against Lindholm in deep for Zach Cassian. Gets bumped hard by you know who, Kachuk. And Cassian's mad, and here we go. Now there's gonna be penalties in the game. They've been going at each other on and off all night, and Zach Cassian is incensed. Now, we showed earlier in the first period the one hit that knocked his helmet off, and I don't know if you could hear, but it was McDavid yelling at Cassian to have his head up because he saw coming back from his point coverage, Kachuk coming down. And all right, Oilers fan Steve says that's a dang it because Kachuk wouldn't fight Cassian. Next. Oh, it's the last one? I gotta expand? Okay. Every rivalry that we're told about, no, this is a rivalry. It stagnates a little bit sometimes, right? Leafs Habs, big rivalry. Haven't played in the playoffs since 1979. Not the biggest rivalry. Battle of Alberta, it has its ups and downs and when neither team makes the playoffs or only one of them makes it, it's hard to keep her going. Especially when they're trading with each other all the time. What's up with that? But thanks to 
Matthew Kachuk, I don't, I don't even like saying it. Thanks to Matthew Kachuk decking Zach Cassian, uncalled, by the way, it's reignited. Here's the play. I don't know. You can't see. He's coming down. No, Cassian. No, and Cassian has the puck, so it's not like it's an interference call either. It's one of those hard hits that you're battling with one guy as Cassian's got Giordano. It looked like Cassian saw him at the last second, but his reaction was instant. Third hit, Cassian's like, I'm done with this. We're going. And he's got about an equal sized opponent in Matthew Kachuk. They're about to chuck. No. No. Now, Zach Cassian did end up beating Matthew Kachuk to a pulp, which, as Oiler fan Steve, that was that was the best part, for sure. Like, to a literal pulp. There is concentrate, and then there's orange juice with Kachuk, and then there's some of Kachuk. You ever get that one? It's good. And out of all this, Kachuk gets nothing. Cassian gets a two-game suspension. That's a dang it. That's a dang it on the NHL. That is a dang it on Matthew Kachuk not standing up for himself and being a coward. Now, producer Drew for some reason, thinks that is a dang it on Cassian for bragging about his 13 magnificent goals. Sucks, but um, all in all, he's just a young punk that has to figure that aspect out in the game. It's sad he's a pretty good player, but he's, he's a to be honest, straight up. That's, that, he's, that's the definition of it. <laughs> he wouldn't fight me two years ago. Said I was a fourth liner, now I have 13 goals. What's the, what's the excuse now, you know what I mean? They are magnificent. You should put that smile away. Put it in your pocket. But I guess, fine, fine, fine. It's a family YouTube channel here. The dang it is on Cass because he wanted a dance partner and no one wanted to dance. But the rivalry is back. Ah! Any Flames fan sensitive about that? It never touched the floor. But Kachuk did. Matthew K Turtle. We'll work on it, Drew. That's a dang it. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe. If you really liked it, tell all your friends. Go Oilers! They're in first place now, did you know that? At least at the time I'm shooting this. And forever. If he you know, doesn't want to get hit, then stay off the tracks.